Okay, Whirlpool Cabrio uh, troubleshooting diagnostics. And uh, first thing we need to do is uh, we need to basically set up the machine so we can get to the undercarriage to get the book out. And you'll need to get that book or just follow the procedures I do. And I'll also show the manual on here and you could probably freeze frame your screen so you can see what the fault codes are and stuff. But also I want to show you where it is so you can find it if you want to dig it out. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to lean the machine back. Uh, what you should do is um, remove these hoses if you're going to basically bend them in any way because it may break those tabs and there will be water all over the place and also uh, just damage but mine I've got it where it's hitting this hose here in uh, the back of the uh, unit so I don't have a problem and also make sure you unplug the power okay so once we've done that lean it back it's all safe okay Make sure you be careful that the machine doesn't drop on you. And you're going to have to get underneath here. Underneath here, there's a pad. Here's this pad. It's just a pad. Take the pad out. It's a sound deadening pad. And up inside, let me grab my flashlight real quick here. Up inside is that baggie. And in that baggie, you're going to pull out uh, the... Uh, the troubleshooting codes and diagnostic sheet from up there on the far upper front left side in a bag. Just tear it out of the bag, pull it out, follow procedures if you want to go that route. Or you can just follow with me on here and uh, either way you'll be good to go. So anyway, let's get back up here. We're going to lean this machine back forward. Of course, you'll need to reconnect your hoses if you had to had to take them off and make sure you plug it back in because you'll need power okay and let's just run basic diagnostics on here so you know how to do it first you hit start okay you're gonna go clockwise all the way around to normal and you're gonna start at normal and go all the way around and then you're gonna go back to normal then one two three and back and forward and again, to you see this, then you're going to hit the start button and it's going to go CL. You'll get flashing lights here, okay? And then you're going to go to this point here, okay? And that's going to tell you your fault code. 7E587, okay? That is my splutch going bad. I've already got that ordered and uh, that's the problem with this machine here. And it, it's intermittent, so it's coming back and forth and uh, I'll need to get that replaced. It's it's going to go eventually. You can hear it grinding once in a while, but that's where I learned how to do all the diagnostics on this. And then you can go through all the tableau of the unit. So like I've got an E2FO, there's another code. FOEO, that's clear. FOEO, that's clear. That's clear. That's clear. Okay, so now we take it back to normal. We've got our codes. And then you'll go to your code book, and I'm going to show you that to you later, the codes, so you can know how to read them. And write these down. Write these down. These are, it's very important to write these down uh, as you go through them and write, like, those two codes I got there. I already know them, so I've written those down. Just write them down. It'll, it'll, it'll be just in case you need to. You can't get the fault to come back up. At least you know what's coming up. And it's going to get you in some type of a direction. Now, the first thing you do, need to do is turn off power. Turn that power off. Then turn it back on. Okay? Then you're going to go clockwise all the way again, all the way around the uh, horn there to normal. And then back to normal. Then one, two, three, back, forward. Okay. And now you've got all your lights lighting. Notice how I didn't go any further past the lights. I just went one, two, three, back, and then back. Okay. So you've got all your lights lit. Now you're going to hold this button. Now listen for this sound here. There we go, that's one. Okay. You have to go through each one. Okay. 13 areas here. But if you don't have a fault code, you don't need to clear that. 
Okay. Clear. F O E O. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can hit clear on that one. Yep. And that stays the same. Okay. E O F O. E O F O. E O F O. Okay. E O F O. Clear. Clear. E O F O. All right. And back to normal. So you've gotten all 13 automatic cycles, or basically 13 parameters that get checked by this machine, cleared. Okay. And uh, once you do that, then you need to turn off the power, turn the power back on, go around the horn back to Z uh, normal, go back to normal again the other direction counterclockwise, one, two, three, one back, one forward, then here, then you got that, CL, boom, okay, all right, next one. See, it's clear now. It's clear. And then that other code wasn't there. It was here. I think on the fifth cycle there. Now it's clear. Okay, now we got to begin diagnostics here. Okay? So, first thing we do, we make sure there's nothing in the machine and no water either. You got to make sure there's no water present. Okay? Close the lid, make sure it's good and secure. Okay? And then we're going to go ahead and do the procedure again, go all the way around, oops, let's go back to normal, secure power, turn power back on. It's just a good way to clear the system before you start another procedure. I go all the way around, go all the way back, okay, one, two, three, back, one, then you go one, and two, and you see spin there that spin. This is when you're going to have O2 on there. You're going to run diagnostics. Now it's going to go through the procedures in the book there of the 13 phases it's going to test. Let's see we get the book out here. I can do this while this is running the test. Now I'm going to get the book out. Uh, right now it's going to run all, all uh, 14 tests all the way to lid lock at the end. And uh, Here's our, uh, here's our menagerie of what's being done here, okay? You can freeze frame this and expand it on your phone to see exactly what's going on. Or dig the book out at the bottom, okay? And uh, that'll, that'll tell you what's being tested at the different numbers that you see on the display, okay? Now back to your fault codes, like I promised. I'm gonna hold that on there for a second while it's running diagnostics. There's your fault codes. Okay, and then your second page of fault codes. All right, if you want to extensively test this thing in manual mode, you'll have to get that book from the front of the unit inside there. But these are the fault codes. That's page two, that's page one. Okay, I'm trying to hold it as best I can so you can see them, at least get an idea what your problems may be. You can freeze your screen and expand it. Okay, and it'll run all these diagnostics. Then what you'll do is you'll go back into the, the uh, make sure you turn it off after it's done, turn it off, then go to normal, and then go back in and see if you have any fault codes in the system like we did at the beginning. And that's pretty much it. That's how to run diagnostics on your Whirlpool Cabrio or your Whirlpool or any other subsidiary brands they make. Good luck. God bless.